New video is shedding light into an active shooter situation in downtown Salt Lake City last year that ended with an intense shooting involving more than a dozen police officers. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher is live in South Salt Lake tonight with that video and it explains how the DA cleared those officers today. Lauren. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, so Sim Gill to say, uh, today said those officers were justified when they unleashed nearly 200 rounds on the driver when he hit this building behind me. But Gill also read a letter from that driver's family saying why they think this could have been prevented. April 8, 2019, this never before seen surveillance shows Harold Robinson leaving Duchesne after the Salt Lake County DA says Robinson called his family to tell them he felt anxious, agitated and needed to go for a drive. This new surveillance video shows the drive turned into robbing two gas stations at gunpoint to steal alcohol. District Attorney Sim Gill says Robinson fired his gun inside during the second robbery. Right after that, he stepped out of the vehicle with an automatic weapon and fired over the top of my car as I was turning. Gill says Robinson drove around downtown Salt Lake City, shooting his rifle into the air at buildings, traffic, and at one point, a police officer. In all, Gill says about 50 shots. When you look at the complexity of this scene, you look at the volatility that was uh, demonstrated by the, the suspect. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Police rammed Robinson on State Street, causing him to crash into a business. 15 officers from different agencies then unloaded 196 rounds. Gill announced Friday they found that force justified. He said officers acted how they could in a complex and dynamic situation. When you have somebody who has, uh, who has fired multiple times into, cr into a crowd indiscriminately, uh, that threat is, uh, is present and persistent and has been demonstrated. And, uh, and I think the officers are reacting to that threat. We learned Friday that police found three guns Robinson carried with him, a long rifle, shotgun, and handgun. Gill read a letter Robinson's family sent his office, saying Robinson was admitted to a mental health facility, but released within days. They said they pray that this tragic event will raise awareness around mental illness. The event may have been prevented, and we will still uh, have our beloved friend and family member. Now, we mentioned that there was a business in this building at the time. The business owner was inside and hid from the gunfire. Now, his family later told me he was never able to reopen at that location because of the trauma he endured. Live in South Salt Lake, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.